Mrs. Johnson. I'm Vanessa, and I am here to assist your husband on a few things that will help him live a little healthier life and avoid being hospitalized as much as possible. Two of the things that will have a big impact on his well-being will be managing his medications and monitoring both what he is eating and his fluid intake. Thank you. I am glad you are here because he doesn't listen to me. Plus, I am not always sure what his doctor and hospital staff are instructing him to do. Great. Let's get to work. Can you take me into the kitchen and show me what he typically is eating and how he's measuring the amount of liquids he consumes? Also, I am going to need to see all the medications he is supposed to be taking. Based on reviewing his diet plan from the clinic, he is safe to eat some of these things, but in moderation. We need to incorporate items such as tuna, turkey, unsalted potato chips and crackers, cooked greens, broccoli, etc. So let's review the diet plan from his dialysis clinic dietitian and come up with a list of items to prepare for him. Well, I know he won't eat broccoli. Well, what about any of the other items? He will eat turkey and maybe some canned tuna. He will miss his salted potato chips, but I will get some good unsalted ones for him. Let's do this. I will be coming here once a week for now. Do you think by next Thursday you could pick up these items we discussed? The next week we can talk about even more items that will be good for him that the dietitian recommended. We can still give him some of the foods he likes, but in moderation, as long as we also include the foods that will help him greatly. Hi, Vanessa. I am glad to see you. How have you been? I'm doing great, but how are you? And especially, how is your husband? He has been doing much better now that you have been coming by. I have been married to this man for 26 years, and believe me, he can be as stubborn as a mule. So the fact that you have been able to get him to follow his medication plan from the dialysis clinic and do better with his eating habits is wonderful. My husband always looks forward to seeing you on Thursdays. I agree. We are making progress, and his labs have shown improvement. Many times we see that what a patient needs is that one-on-one -on -one attention in the home from a medical professional who cares about them. I agree with you 100%. When you leave each week and tell him you want him to improve on something before you come back the following week, he generally does. It's almost like he does not want to disappoint you, and in the back of his stubborn head, he knows it is for his own health. Hi, Mr. Johnson. Ready for our visit? Yes, ma'am. Did you see my lab results for this month? I did, and you have made some significant improvements, and I am proud of you. We still have some work to do, but I know you will get there. How about you and your wife tell me what you've been eating since I was here last week? Many patients to better manage their fluid intake, follow their medication directions, and monitor their diet. We also have to work harder at getting these patients off of these catheters, which is increasing hospitalizations because of the infections. All of these things play a significant role with all the criteria CMS and corporate is measuring us on. Do you two have something you want to share on this issue? Yes, we both have been doing our best to address these issues with the patients, but once they go home, the patients facing these issues just fall back into their old habits. So we began to think about what or who can be placed in the home that could be a resource to properly educate patients to manage their medications, control their fluid, monitor their diet plan, etc. Then it just made sense that we should try home health care and have a nurse work with these patients on these issues in their home where the challenges are. Exactly. So I, for example, identified a group of patients that are consistently having trouble with their labs and shared their names with Marsha. I spoke with those patients and suggested that home health can help them and asked if it was okay that a home health nurse come out to their house and do an assessment. Once they agreed, I gave them the names of a couple of agencies that do a good job to pick from. It's been over a month now 
and we are already seeing improvements with most of their labs. We even feel that a couple of them will actually switch to a fistule and get rid of their catheter. Who is writing the orders and signing off on the paperwork for home health? Once the patient agrees to home health, the home health agency gets the orders from the patient's primary care physician, or if they have not seen a primary care physician in a while, they send out one of the home doctors they work with. So there isn't any paperwork we have to worry about. Either the patient's primary care physician signs all the paperwork, including the orders, or the home health doctor does. The fact that we are measured on multiple categories which are impacted by what the patients do in their own homes, it makes total sense that a home health nurse reinforcing what we teach here one-on-one -on -one with the patient in their home. At one point in my career, I did home health, and you would be shocked by what you see in a patient's home that you will never pick up on just from seeing them when they come to dialysis. Things like little or no food, family members taking advantage of the patient, or just not helping care for them. Patients using a super large plastic cup from a convenience store and thinking it's a regular size cup when managing fluid intake. Medications that are disorganized, etc. You also build a bond with that patient as their home health nurse, which makes it easier to get them to be more compliant, as well as building bond with family members so they work as a team in caring for that patient. But home health is temporary. At some point, the home health agency will stop seeing the patient, and there's a good chance some of these patients will go right back to what they did before. In fact, most of the patients having challenges have home health at one point. According to the information provided to me from one of the home health agencies, with the recent modification to Medicare rules, there is not a limit on how long the patient can receive home health services as long as the home health agency documents that if a skilled service, like nursing or therapy, is discontinued, there is a high chance that the patient's health could decline. In fact, this one agency has some dialysis patients that have been seen for several years and follow up on the ones they discharge every two to four months. This company also has dialysis professionals on their board. They have a nephrologist, dialysis social worker, dialysis dietitian, a dialysis nurse, and a dialysis patient. Since the labs on these patients have improved after home health was set up, and the primary care physician or home doc handles all the paperwork, I don't see why we would not continue identifying these patients that could benefit and explore home health as a resource for them as well. If it helps the patients and helps our clinic's rating with corporate and CMS, I am on board. Work with your team and identify a few more patients that have lab issues and consider home health for those having lab issues each month. Not only those with lab issues, but any new patients. Patients that are frequently hospitalized and patients that have become very weak so we can look at home health physical therapy. Other than identifying those in need and speaking with those patients, the team should not have anything else to do but to make the referral to the home health agency the patient picks. I don't want them loaded with extra work. Okay, well, let's make this part of our monthly quality meetings. We can talk in general about the progress made with patients, set up with home health, and if we have identified more patients that could benefit. Good job, Marsha and Karen. Yeah, good job, you two. Come on in. At this point, you are family. He's on the couch, and he has a surprise for you. Thank you. I like and appreciate being able to work with you two. I have a surprise for you. You have your lab results? Yes, and they look very good, but this is a bigger surprise. What would that be? <gasps> this is the best news I have had all day! In fact, all week! I am so very proud of you. You made a good decision.